easily. He's getting some quick combos. Yeah, all that percent was very optimal. Gets the up throw though. What are we going to see from here? A forward air. Finally answering back from Silver, but still, it's it's looking a little bit awkward in neutral, just moving around wise. Oh my god! Nothing awkward about that F smash though, very good punish on Vanish. One of the harder recoveries to actually punish. Man, I swear, that's one of the worst moves to get hit by. Yeah! Yeah! Just punches you right Go. in the stomach. <laughs> uh, uh, and it's safe, too. I mean, you can't really do anything for him going for that. So yeah, especially he, as the two-frame. He gets to practice it the whole time, basically. He could have nared or forward air him out of that. That's a frame trap if they air dodge after bouncing fish. All right, so right now we're seeing the Weasel having the classic Sheik Dilemma. How is he going to take the stock? At 130, the 50-50s are almost gone. Yeah, he's just going to have to read an air dodge or something, but Sonic is just so elusive. And now he can catch him reaching for these kill options. Yeah, yeah that was a reach if I've ever seen. I don't know why he managed right there. Yeah, I mean, either. Maybe hoping that somehow Silver would get hit by the strong hitbox of it, but he wasn't even anywhere close. And Silver kind of running away with this. It was looking so even up until that last match. I know. And now he's out of basically any confirmed percent, and he's going for like bouncing fishes and neutral and these vanishes. Ooh. Yeah. All right, so two stock coming out from Silver. Yeah, after he got that F smash at ledge, it was pretty much over. It's pretty hard to maintain composure as Sheik, especially if you're not used to dying so early. Mm -hmm. It's pretty rough. He could have slowed it down with some needle camping and just kind of sniffed out what Silver was doing in neutral, but... Unfortunately, that one going a two stock in Silver's favor. Yep. So game two, we're going to have to see if his luck improves, and it kind of looks like it does. Yeah, this, this definitely is definitely a Captain Falcon favored matchup, in my opinion. Not much Pac-Man can do, and his only landing option is Hydrant, and that can be Up counteracted very quickly. Yeah. So Silver definitely showing that he kind of knows how to play Pac-Man, but... Uh, I don't know. This is a this is a character you kind of have to put a lot of work into to play effectively. So we're gonna have to see. Oh, he had an amazing spike setup on the up tilt and the down air right there for the air dodgery. But he misses both. Yeah, and it looks like Silver's having a little bit of trouble setting up walls against Cap Falcon because that's a major thing that Pac-Man will do, especially with the hydrant. Yeah, and honestly, admittedly, Captain Falcon is not easy to set up a wall against. He's fast. Uh, he has great uh, frame data on his dash grab, dash attack, and wow, he also has spikes. Not able to snap the ledge, unfortunately, for Silver right there. That was an interesting option, the down air on the shield. I think we saw Weasel doing that with DDD, or it was Shu. Yeah, I can't remember who it was. Uh, regardless, Silver going for the forbidden move right there, the, the grab as Pac-Man. Yeah, if you're going to grab and neutral as Pac-Man, instant respect. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's going for it. He's over here having fun. All right, that move not having any end lag. Weasel's just going to wait for the roll afterwards. And this is Loser's final, so he does have three out of five. That's plenty of time to turn things around in yeah. a random set. Plenty of time to, uh, you know, it really only takes a couple games with some good luck to yeah. change things up. So right now, though, Weasel. Psych having a good lead in this game. Yeah, Silver slowed it down, as you saw, when he just took the, the corner control and started teabagging, but... Oh, actually got a grab. Let's go. All right, let's go. Grab from Pac-Man, a rare sight, but a treat to see. And that forward smash, definitely going to take the stock. Yeah, get hit with the, the weight of the F smash, and the hydrant right there is going to send you off the top. Weasel getting a game on the board, so now it's 1-1 in this Losers Finals. Alrighty. So the random hype continues, and did someone get Ganondorf? I hope so. No, we actually have the DLC battle. Some of the Veo. two hardest characters to play if you're not mechanically, like, wise. Yeah, if you're not mechanically inclined, these characters are definitely going to give you a hard time, but both these characters, both these players have shown that they have some pretty good skill, especially Silver, so we're going to have to see. Right now, though, the Weasel kind of laying down the smack. Yeah, it kind of looks like Silver 
Oh, I, I thought he was going to wish twist. Yeah, it kind of looks like he doesn't know exactly how to co do the combos with Bayonetta. Yeah, you know, you may see her a lot, but you do have to play her a little while to get kind of used to the way she moves around and uh, how to get her combo started. So far, we haven't seen a single special move uh, come out as a combo starter. Which is good if he doesn't want to be hated by the entire Smash community. But <laughs> let's see. There you go. Yeah. Another problem with what he did right there is he jumped and then witch twist instead of witch twisting and then jumping. Yeah, you definitely want to save that second one for your recovery. You never want to jump first. Yeah, uh, people don't give Bale players enough credit because it takes a significant amount of time to learn how to move around with the character. And then if you understand the basics of the matchup, you're still going to beat them. So they have to learn the matchups as well. Yeah, I think a lot of players uh, have the misconception that because the character is good, she's easy. Yeah. Bayonetta is by no means a, an easy character. There is a lot of depth to her, and that is part of what makes her good, is because she, she just has way more options than most characters do. If you think reading a roll or an air dodge is hard, try reading SDI out of your moves. Yeah. That's got to be significantly harder. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to deal with that. Beautiful Instead, wave I gotta so be able to deal with back airs like that, so does the weasel. Yeah, so. he's sticking a lot to his normals. He, he's not putting him in the air too often. And that's where you get like those 40% combos. So, Silver definitely not contesting these uh, aerials from Ryu. If you power shield them, they're pretty easy to punish, but otherwise, uh, it's gonna give you some trouble. And we haven't seen a single Witch Time come out from Silver yet either. Yeah. Sometimes you forget it's an option. I'm going to be impressed if he takes this whole uh, game without actually using that. Yeah, especially with how offensive Weasel's been in neutral. But uh, assuming Weasel knows how to use the true Shoryuken, then he is beyond 4% right now. Silver is, at least. He's gone for a lot of raw Shoryus as well, not relying on the true combos out of up tilt. And another back air. Didn't even need to rely on the B moves at all, really. All right, so Silver showcasing the power of uh, the aerial Bayonetta. Yeah. Basically like Solomar. Yeah, but a lot better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Way better and safe. All right, so just one game away from Silver making the grand finals against Best Ness. Yeah, he dropped and out oh, earlier than I believe Weasel did because Weasel made it all the way to win his final. So this would be really good for Silver. Yeah, it'd be a nice loser's run. A successful loser's run is always really good for uh, your mentality.